Welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back from my existing subscribers. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I have my GeForce experience set up. If you don't know what that is, it's the recording software that I use um, with all NVIDIA graphics cards. It has the minimum impact on your actual frame rate when you're in game. Uh, so it's really good to use. AMD has something called AMD Relive. Uh, but right now this interface that we're looking at is OBS. I'm using it to record my screen. It's another backup that I use whenever I'm having issues with GeForce Experience, which is like, I'd say once every three or four months, it just acts funny and I still need to record some content. So I use OBS. Now let's go ahead and switch into GeForce Experience. All right. So as you can see here, it's a nice clean interface. I love it a lot more than, uh, than the, whatchamacallit, the AMD Relive interface. So right here you have drivers so you can update your graphics card. Uh, for the people that don't know what they have, you can click on the settings wheel here. And in the top right, it says my rig tells you what kind of graphics card you have, uh, what driver version you're running, how much RAM you have, the resolution of your monitor, as well as the refresh rate. So anything gaming related that you might need to know, you can go right here. So now with that said, you kind of kind of understand a little bit about what we got going on. Uh, I'm going to show you what I actually have set up. So settings, right? So for me, I have my recordings sent to go to my external hard drive and I created a folder called uh, for videos. So everything I save from the pre rendered to the flashback recording is set up to go to my videos folder, right? The HUD, this is where I get all my FPS um, information. So whenever I'm playing a game, if I want to see what kind of frames I'm getting, I actually have this on and the status indicator I leave on because in the past, before I went to a solid state drive, when windows if you especially listen if you have a hard drive when windows is starting up if you didn't have a chance or if if shadow play or geforce experience didn't have a chance to launch in the background then what will happen is your gameplay recording will not work so it's weird so if you start your pc and everything's ready to go and you launch a game but the shadow play or the nvidia share whatever they they want to call it has not started you're not going to be able to see this only works for really Facebook. Um, it used to work on Twitch. I got it to work a couple of times in the, in the past. It never, it hasn't worked since, right? So obviously I already showed you the recordings, broadcast live. I got my YouTube set up. So I record or broadcast in 1440p, 60 FPS and 13 megabits per second. So it stays really clear. Uh, if you go see any of my current live streams that are on my YouTube channel, they actually look pretty good um, as far as they look like kind of less uh like a lower quality basic youtube video versus some other live streams where they're really choppy now i have really good internet and i'm hardwired in so i don't really have any issues as far as that goes all right this is where you can get your sound settings i have my setup so 70 percent for the system sound so when i play a game it's 70 percent, and my microphone is let me crank that up to 100 so i usually have that at 100 percent um i have it this way specifically because it will make my mic a lot louder than the you know the game sounds like the gunshots and all that jazz right uh the other thing too i don't use boost that's why i started lowering this boost is okay but i noticed when i was using a wired headset it would pick up a lot of the the uh buzzing sound so whenever it was quiet there'd be like a, a light hum in the background so i turned that off uh, game mode filter i don't really mess with that too much but video capture let's talk about that um because it's on right now this is my default settings. I have the instant replay length to a minute and a half. This is about the size of my clips is about half a gig. And I record at 1440p 60 FPS. So you could tweak this if um, if you have a slightly you know, weaker machine or if you were looking for something different like 1080p and that's what you play at. Or it goes all the way up to 4K. When you go to 4K, it increases the bit rate which is the quality of the video recording. And that's what I was saying on the stream. Um, we can we can conversate about this in the comment section if you don't understand bitrate or anything. Uh, but if you do understand, so 50 megabits is what I roll, which is the highest one. When you go to 4K for your resolution, it goes up to 100 megabits, so you can still get that clear image, right? Um, this is kind of like the sweet spot, 30 to 40 is kind of where you want to set. Um, really, I didn't see much impact in performance, so I just keep it at 50, all right? Another thing that you want to do is for your privacy controls, desktop capture on. So for games like Valorant, that for whatever reason, the overlay is going on underneath or it's not, it's not, the game is going over the overlay. Uh, if this were set to off, it would just record the sounds and then your desktop, like it wouldn't actually record the gameplay. So when you have game or desktop capture on, it's for a privacy reasons that is defaulted off. Um, but it will be able to record anything on your gameplay. So if you're one of the content creators that likes to uh, maybe record a news article 
while you're talking about it, you know, and you just got your mic kind of like this video here. If I was showing you how to upload something to Facebook, then this would be the setting that you want to, you would want to have on highlights. I, I have it on, but every time a game pops up, I pretty much have that set off. So it says, would you like Nvidia to set your highlights? And I have off, let's talk about the shortcuts and then we'll end the video. So my shortcuts, what I like, um, for pictures to save screenshots, I have number on my number pad or minus on my number pad. I don't really use the photograph, the scene. It's where it kind of collects everything and it goes into a really nice editor. If you want to make some really nice screenshots um, or thumbnails, you can get a custom picture because it just renders the scene and then you can pan things right here. Pretty important. So toggle instant replay on and off. I have it to match my record, right? So I have alt shift and then my record button to turn instant replay on and off. So I'll do that real quick. All right. So I also had, I had to come back in and finish this up because I have my alt number shift in OBS. Whenever I do have issues with GeForce experience and I have to record with something else, I have it set to stop the recording. <laughs> so here it is right here. Um, this is a pretty much the quick breakdown of my layout and the last piece here. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Pretty much. I think we covered on the desktop capture here. So yeah, here's the different things you can stream to here. So Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, your bit rate. You guys be easy. I'll catch you in the next video. If you have any questions, let me know.